What's going on everybody? Got another video here for you. Uh, we are going to use GeoGebra to look at vectors. So you can go to GeoGebra.org and this page right here will come up and we'll go to graphing calculator. We might look at some three-dimensional vectors too. But let's look at the graphing calculator. In this you can just do the two-dimensional vectors. So let's let's put in a vector. So ooh, let's do vector uh, and we can you can put it in as a start point end point. If you put it in as a start end point, for the start point you want to put zero zero and then the end point whatever the components of the vector are. Or you can just put it in as a point. So if let's say we've got the vector one three then we would just put in and i don't know you may have to i don't know if you got to put it in parentheses or not but let's see what that does if we don't no okay so you see it gave me an error message here so what i have to do is this i have to put it i have to put it in uh parentheses all of that and then i hit enter so then let's put in vector v or the, the next vector and do the point and so i got to put parentheses and let's do negative two uh four i guess and there's that vector okay and you can see that it automatically names it vector u vector v all right so let's suppose i want to add these two vectors so i don't have to do anything special see since it already named the vectors i can just do u plus v and there it is let me zoom out a little bit and move this down and you can see there's your resultant vector right there it draws it in there for you okay Let's hide that real quick. Or if you want to subtract the vectors, U minus V, it puts that vector in. Okay, so let's hide that one and let's hide V. So we've got two U. So let's do three times vector U. And you can see it puts that vector there. That's three times that vector. So let's do that. Or if you wanted to, you could put two times vector u plus, uh, let's do five times vector v and hit enter. And let's go ahead. We've got vector v hidden, but here we go. We've got, uh, we put vector v up. So here's vector u, here's vector v, and zoom on out here yeah that's and this long vector here that's that's this vector c 2u plus 5v so you can see it it's it's pretty good at giving you a, a good representation of this now as far as this one goes let's look just real quick at maybe three-dimensional vectors so you'll go to the you'll go here to the 3d calculator so let's put in the vector so we've got vector and i'm thinking we can put it in as a point so let's just do vector uh how about four zero three so there's that vector it, it's kind of there it is let's move it so you can see and then let's do vector uh let's do negative two one five negative two one five oh and see what i did i didn't i didn't put the parenthesis there so let me put that and it i have to erase that one there we go and so there's the vector negative two one five and you can see it names it vector u vector v so let's just do u plus v and there it is there's the then it 
it gives us the sum of those two vectors and you can kind of move this around and kind of look at it but yeah there's the sum of those vectors but just remember to to do that you've got to uh, uh, you've got to go to the 3d calculator to do the three-dimensional stuff and what's good about this if you come to another vector and see that's also nice it gives you the answer right there too and see we can just come in here and maybe change this to negative one and watch this hit enter and it automatically updates everything so this one's a little tougher to see but you can see it right there okay all right so I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.